My sweet goats, as some of you may already know, I love a good horror game. But unlike other genres, the search for me to find a game that I'll actually enjoy is a little bit more difficult. In order for a horror game to hook me, it would really need to pull me in with his story and his pacing way more than a shooter would need to. The fact of the matter is, is that horror is a difficult genre to produce content for, and it might even be the hardest genre to produce content for, which is exactly why it's such a treat when I find a title that really clicks with me. Luckily enough, there have been a few, but there is one game that my mind keeps going back to again and again. And it also happens to be a game that I find wasn't nearly appreciated enough. I'm talking about the Condemned series, a couple of survival horror games. The first being Criminal Origins and the second being uh, Bloodshot. I played Criminal Origins back in 08 and it was an experience I felt very, very strongly about. So let me go ahead and give you the gist of it before I get into why I think it should be remade today. If I were to describe Condemned Criminal Origins to someone who's never played a video game before, I'd start with telling them that the game appeared to draw inspiration from movies like Seven and Suspect Zero. I'd then follow up with a brief description of the crime scene gameplay and related to something they'd have seen in an episode of CSI. And to finish, I top it all off by detailing one of the more terrifying moments I experienced in the game, an old decrepit department store full of murderous mannequins. It remains one of the best horror games I've ever had the pleasure, or at times, displeasure of playing. And I've yet to see another game blend police work with horror as effectively as Condemned did. Long story short, you play as a police officer in the serial crimes unit named Ethan Thomas, who gets framed for the murder of two other police officers. Determined to prove his innocence, Ethan goes after someone known as Serial Killer X, a killer of serial killers and the individual that framed him. This misadventure forces him to venture into places most people wouldn't even feel safe visiting during the day, all while having to defend himself from psychopaths and f***ed up homeless people. The enemies in this game, for the most part, weren't creepy monsters or zombies or whatever other horror trope you can think of. They were other humans, humans who had long since lost their minds or who were never really all there to begin with. It's one of the things that stood out to me when playing this game, as I'd never really experienced anything like it before. This design choice made combat feel more impactful and brutal. You weren't just smashing some zombie skull in, you were killing another human being. And that, for the lack of better words, was some heavy shit. I distinctly remember enemies swearing at me as they swung at me from around corners or rushed at me down tight hallways, which made for a more personal and detailed experience in all the most horrific ways possible. You never really felt totally powerless in the game, but the environments it placed you in were incredibly oppressive. I didn't like moving from room to room. I always felt like I had to watch my back and I never felt safe. Ultimately, it hit the nail on the head in terms of the survival horror aspect by providing you just enough power to scrape through to the next chapter on a blind run. The game did have some drawbacks though in terms of user experience, particularly during crime scene investigations, where it kind of forced you to just press one button while taking photos of or scanning highlighted areas, which all felt pretty clunky and static. The movement was also a little clunky, making combat and environmental exploration tedious at a few points. But beyond any of that, I can't really think of anything that weighed down on my opinion of it. All in all, I loved Condemned Criminal Origins. It was a gaming experience that I instantly cherished upon completion and is one I eagerly talk about whenever discussing survival horror games with friends. In fact, I still own a hard copy of both titles and refuse to get rid of them despite having retired my 360 a couple years ago. If you can find a way to play this game and power through the dated gameplay as well as the possible technical issues on the PC port, then do it because I have no doubt in my mind that it will leave quite an impression on you. Now, do you guys know how much Condemned costs to develop? I don't. I don't give a fuck about how it was developed or how much it costs to be developed. All that matters is that the game was developed, it was released to market, and then it did well enough as to not capsize the entire studio. And they also delivered a sequel. And with that in mind, it would be perfectly reasonable to remake it or at the very least remaster it. Although I would very much prefer a complete remake. Given the impending success of Resident Evil 2's remake, although it's part of a more successful and renowned franchise, I think the horror audience in gaming would be primed for another polished horror experience. We've already seen that a majority of the fans have taken a liking to the first person perspective that was presented in Resident Evil 7, an entry to the series that I'd say revitalized any interest that was lost when Capcom blundered back onto the stage with Resident Evil 6. And with that in mind, I'm certain that it wouldn't be all that difficult to pitch that kind of audience on a first person survival horror game the likes of Condemned Criminal Origins. But what do I know, huh? I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel, right? It's not like the video game market has increased by over five times since 2006. And it's not like whether or not a game had a good story factored into more than half of consumer purchasing decisions in 2016. Surely remaking another single player focused horror game that was successful enough to warrant a sequel shortly after would be too much of a risk to take in 2019, right? <laughs> Look, in case it wasn't obvious to you already, I'm being incredibly facetious. A remake of Condemned Criminal Origins with an overhauled movement system, combat mechanics, and crime scene gameplay would 
would be welcomed with open arms. And I think it's time that publishers, in this case Warner Brothers Interactive, realize that solid single player experiences are part of a market worth investing into and expanding upon. I also think that there's no better way to invest in it than to revisit the successful titles of yesterday and recreate them for larger, newer gaming audiences today. Condemned ended up tapping into something special that I haven't seen emulated successfully since. Its story may have been fantastic in nature, but the setting felt grounded in reality. The environments weighed down on you and oppressed you. The enemies were sickening and altogether terrifying, and as alluded to earlier, the combat felt heavy and brutal. Now while working on this video, I went through quite a bit of gameplay footage and couldn't help but think about how good this game would look and how well it would play if developed on more modern tech. But more than any of that, I felt the desire to play it again, and look, I know I can't be the only one that's gonna walk away from this video with that very same desire. So please, Mr. Corporate Money Man, find it in your heart to revisit this series and in the process, turn a bit of almost guaranteed profit. And that's it, my sweet goats. Did you like this video? Did you enjoy this video? If you did enjoy it, feel free to go ahead and leave a like hit that sub button and ding that bell icon. Of course, if you wanna comment and be a part of the discussion, go ahead and do that as well. Until next time, I, I can't wait to see you again. I really can't. You know, these videos have been real fun. I love you. Bye.